So it's in C, so let's just... Wayland's, Wayland's yeah. And it's W-H-E-L-A-N or W-H-A-L-E-N. Either one works. A-N. W-H-E-L-A-N. You get the idea. Yes. It's, it's, it's not the wailing breakdown, right. which would be a better to title for it, actually. <laughs> okay, so the first little bit is, it's, let's play a C scale, just we want to move right along here. So we'll start on G, open G, and play from open G all the way up to the B on the E string using no sharps or flats, okay? So here we go. play the arpeggio, so we're going to play all the G's, E's, and C's, okay? So starting with open G, we're going to play this open G. Now C on the G string, 5th fret, 2nd fret on the D string, E, 5th fret on G, yeah, 3rd fret on the A, open E, G, and that's as high as we can go without shifting, so down now. C on the A string, G on the D string, E, C on the G string, open G. So, okay, all right. So, so this tune, uh, the second part of this tune, is sort of a kind of what I'll say a archetype second part because there's a lot of tunes in C that use this thing where they walk through the chords like uh, Texas Gals and. Uh, 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 what's that other one? Wild John. There's a bunch of these tunes that do this thing where they go. That kind of thing where it goes C, F, G, you know, and frames the chords. So it's a, so it's a really kind of typical thing in the second part. But let's play the first part first. So, so the first part starts out like this. It's on, it's on, starting on the E string, it goes. So listen one more time. Oh, so this, we're playing just a scale up to G, then A, then back to C. Here we go. So the pickup notes are F, E, and F. One more time. Okay, now we're, let's think about G arpeggio for a moment. So we're going to, G arpeggio is, if I start on D, it's kind of D, B, G, B, D. Play this D here on the A string. B, G. Okay, and the reason I keep harping on, harping on these arpeggios is that I try to, when I'm, in recent years, I've tried to think on the fiddle more like a guitar player. And more like, a, or more like a mandolin player, and think of forms like I'm in the, I'm in some form when I'm playing these melodies, and that makes everything more in tune and makes things easier to find. So, like if I think of that, you know, as making the chord G chord. Now listen to what the melody does. So I'm going to play right here. I'm in that. That little. It's kind of. It's kind of. You know. You kind of have to. It helps to start to set your ears harmonically when you're playing tunes, and think about the chords too, because it makes the tune easier to play. You know. And also, if you want to add stuff, you, the stuff you add will be right the first time. You know? <laughs> you're not just fishing around. In other words. Okay. So the first bit we played. Listen one time. Let's try that. Okay, now I'm going to start on this D on the A string, listen. One more time. Okay, listen one time, listen. Here we go. No, third finger, third finger. Listen. Third finger here. So once you hit 
that third finger on the D string or the G note, it's just a scale. Up to C. Listen one time. Listen one time. Here we go. One more time. Okay, if I keep going from there, I'll listen to the rest of it. so far it sounds like this that's the whole first part see let's try it together slow <laughs> 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 